Some of the best long ski runs in the globe feature a variety of terrains, and they are available for your enjoyment. There are some fantastic on-piste and off-piste paths that you can enjoy, regardless of whether you are looking for a leisurely ride down the mountain or a true thigh burner. An in-depth reference to the longest ski runs in Europe and the rest of the world has been compiled by our specialists in the sport of skiing. Number 9. This is the Valley Blanche, located in Chamonix, France. Those who are looking for an off-piste challenge and are looking for a thrill will find what they are looking for on Chamonix's Valley Blanche is without a doubt one of the longest ski routes in Europe, measuring a staggering 22 kilometers in length. An astounding 2,700 vertical meters may be found, which is nearly twice as much as the amount of lift served vertical that can be found in Whistler Blackcomb. The only people who should attempt this are experienced skiers who have gone off piste before. You will also require a mountain in the area to evaluate the crevices and avalanche threats that are present on the terrain. On the other hand, once you're on the run, Skiing is an incredible experience indeed. Number 8. From the Klein Matterhorn to Val Tornich, Zermatt Servina, Switzerland and Italy. Among all the red ski runs in the world, the one that goes from the Klein Matterhorn to Val Tornich is the longest. From Zermatt to Servina, it spans the border between Switzerland and Italy and is a distance of 22 kilometers. It begins at the summit of the Klein Matterhorn Glacier where you will be able to take in breathtaking panoramas of the world-famous Matterhorn Peak. There is one chairlift that you will need to use to complete the distance. But other than that, it is a non-stop skiing experience with a drop of 2359 meters from the top to the bottom. This cruise is enjoyable, and it offers breathtaking scenery to take in. Number 7. Flain, France's Le Cascades one of the best runs for skiers who are just starting or intermediate is Le Cascades. Not only is it one of the longest blue runs in Europe, but it also offers breathtaking sunsets. This race is 14 kilometers long and begins at a height of 2,480 meters, providing participants with a breathtaking view of Mont Blanc. There is a large number of locations to stop and rest, and you will have the opportunity to become familiar with the Grand Massif ski region. Along the way, you will ski through the Six Passy Nature Reserve, passing by frozen waterfalls and passing through beautiful trees that are covered in snow. When you are on your way down, you can easily feel safe to practice your technique because it is typically a somewhat calm run. At the end of the run, you will arrive in the village of Sixth, where you will be able to indulge in a hot chocolate that is richly deserved. Number six, located in Solden, Austria, the Schwarzschneid. This is the beginning of the Schwarzschneid, which begins at an elevation of 3,250 meters on the summit of the Rettenbach Glacier in Solden. From this vantage point, you will be able to take in the breathtaking Utzel Valley and even catch a glimpse of the renowned Dolomites. So make sure to set aside some time for taking photographs at the peak. 15 kilometers of slopes are connected, and you have the option of going down pretty easy blue or red slopes or you can go up to the FIS Alpine World Cup race pist. Because it is one of the longest ski routes in Austria, and because there is such a wide variety of terrain to choose from, a large number of skiers can take pleasure in the experience. Number 5. Alpe d'Huez, France's Seren. It is well acknowledged that Seren is among the longest black ski runs in the entire world. This 16-kilometer slope is completely on the pist but it presents a challenge because it has a vertical drop of more than 2,000 meters. The top is relatively smooth, but it has the potential to become more choppy as it approaches the center of the hill. To ensure that you can enjoy this run during the evenings when you are skiing, Alpe Hughes has put floodlights next to the slope. It is without a doubt one of the most renowned ski runs in France that you have the opportunity to experience, a ski run that is among the longest in all of Europe. Number 4. Peak to Creek Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. It is recommended that the Peak to Creek Blue Run be appreciated in the morning, when the terrain is less likely to be mowed down. The terrain is 11 kilometers long, and from the peak of the drop, there are breathtaking vistas of both Whistler and Blackcomb. If, on the other hand, you are a fan of moguls, you can give this a shot later in the day for a truly leg-burning experience. After a long day of skiing down the mountain, you can reward yourself with a well-deserved drink or some delicious meal at Dusty's Bar and BBQ, which provides a convenient location at the base of the slope. Number 3. Revelstoke Canada is the last spike during the time. With 15 kilometers of terrain, the last spike is one of the longest ski routes in the world. 
It is located in Revelstoke, which is a beautiful town that is sometimes overlooked. It has the distinction of being one of the longest lift-served slopes in North America and is appropriate for skiers of all skill levels. It winds its way down the mountain via the numerous snow-covered trees that are located in the vicinity. For those who aren't interested in the numerous off-piss chances that are available in the ski area, this is an excellent slope. For the duration of the season, it is also quite calm, making it simple to take everything at your own pace and enjoy it. The track might not be interesting to those who are interested in difficult terrain and snow, but wouldn't it be relaxing to have a 20-minute ride on the longest path on the continent and down the largest vertical on the continent? I may be the only one who feels this way, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't mind turning off my brain for 20 minutes and listening to the last spike in a relaxed and unhurried manner. Number 2. Jack Hole, United States of America, Rendeva's Peak there is a route that goes through the Rendezvous Bowl that is 11 kilometers long and begins at Rendezvous Peak. This route is one of the most vertical drops in the United States. Those who have a passion for off-piss terrain will find this route to be an excellent option because it features the highest lift-served continuous vertical drop in the United States. When it's a powder day, you should put on your freeride skis and take advantage of the deep turns that descend to the base of the mountain. Number 1. In Italy and Switzerland, Zermatt to Valtornich. Due to the length of this course, it spans the borders of two different countries. This run is 13 miles long and begins in Switzerland and concludes in Italy. It is located in the shadow of the Matterhorn and is located in Switzerland. In addition to being the longest on pissed run, it is also the only run that can be skied throughout the whole year. Valtornich can be reached by either driving or taking a bus. Based on the road, the distance between Brig and Valtornich is roughly 50 kilometers, 31 miles. When you are driving, you should first follow the signs that point to Osta and then proceed to Valtornich. If you choose to travel by bus, there are often multiple daily services accessible to you. Passing through the border. If you are traveling from Switzerland to Italy, you will be required to go through the border. Make sure that your identification, such as your passport, is available to be inspected immediately. Reaching Valtornich. Once you have arrived at Valtornich, you will have the opportunity to visit the gorgeous village that is tucked away in the Italian Alps. Skiing, hiking, or simply soaking in the breathtaking mountain landscape are all enjoyable activities. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.